Very uplifting show. Amazing. It runs in Southampton until the 20th of November. Then it is off on tour. Yeah, Alexis, it's really good, isn't it? uh, the weather. Let's yes. get straight on with the weather. Yes, it's um, looking fairly cloudy. Let's look at your pictures. <laughs> Mark Burbage photographed the morning mist today at Corfe Castle. You can tell we're running out of time. Alan Robinson <laughs> sent us this lovely picture taken in Henfield in West Sussex. And Anthony Morris took this shot at the Harcourt Arboretum in Oxford. So through the course of today, we've had a good deal of cloud, but we did see some bright and sunny spells. And with that sunshine, temperatures rose to a high of 15 degrees. This lovely sunny scene was photographed today at Caversham in Berkshire. So through the course of tomorrow, there will be a little bit of brightness. We're looking at a very strong gusty wind from the southwest and lots of cloud, patchy rain as well, with a few showers to follow. A lot of dry weather is expected tonight. There will be a lot of cloud. A few clear spells will develop, but with the increasing southwesterly breeze, that should stop any mist and fog Forming, with temperatures falling to around 8 to 11 degrees. So a mild night to come and a mild day tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, maybe some brightness initially, then it starts to cloud over. With this weather front, a band of rain, narrow band of rain moving eastwards, that will clear to leave us with some brighter spells, but also one or two showers dotted about. Where the cloud is quite thick, that's where we'll see the showers. Temperatures tomorrow will peak at around 14 to 15 degrees. So on the inshore waters between Selseybill and Lyme Regis, the winds are west or southwest four to six, veering northwest four or five later, and the sea state is occasionally rough. So through the course of tomorrow night, there will be once again lots of cloud. A few clear spells will develop during the early hours of Saturday morning, and once again, very like recent nights, it's going to be very mild. Lows of 10, 9 to 10 degrees. So quite a lot of clouds expected over the weekend. This slight ridge of high pressure starts to build in through Saturday. That means we'll have a lot of cloud associated with it, but it will break up to allow for some bright and sunny spells and the winds will be a lot lighter than tomorrow. Tomorrow we could see wind gusts of around 40 miles per hour for coastal stretches. For inland areas the winds could gust tomorrow up to around 30 miles per hour. So quite blustery conditions through the day tomorrow. Saturday's a lot quieter, a fair amount of cloud around with some brightness breaking through here and there. We start Sunday with a lot of cloud, a lot of low cloud, perhaps some mist and fog in the morning which may be slow to clear up until lunchtime in some places but once it does clear sunny spells will develop in some areas Sunday afternoon still a lot of cloud to start next week so yes very mild over the next few days David thanks Alexis come and join me on the sofa because we're going to meet a remarkable man now today of course is the 11th of November a day when we pause to remember those who died in military conflicts Robert Tate from Christchurch has written over a hundred poems about World War one and had them printed with money raised going to the Royal British Legion now some are on display at the New Forest Airfields Memorial in Holmesley, a place that played an important part in securing victory in the Second World War. Edward Salt has been to meet him.